TYT investigates uh, Naomi Lachance has uncovered some really interesting uh, potential scandals going on in uh, New Jersey. And what she found was a fairly clear and obvious pattern of favoritism by Chris Christie and uh, his government in New Jersey, where close allies of his, longtime friends and coworkers, uh, partners, are making millions of dollars off of a couple of different things. One is the privatization of the water supply and management in New Jersey. And also the government attempts to stop Atlantic City from going bankrupt. And some of these numbers are a little bit in depth, but follow along. And in the end, we're gonna want you to read this article because she's, she's found way more. But first, let's talk about the water. So in September, in response to problems with New Jersey's water supply, it's rated very poorly. Um, American Water's local division, this is a company there, New Jersey American Water asked the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities to increase the company's rates by $129.3 million annually for their 2.7 million customers. So that's obviously a large amount of money. Um, now, uh, it could just be that you know you need this money to fix pipes and all of that. Uh, a spokesman for American Water said, New Jersey American Water makes the necessary investments in order to meet all state and federal regulations while ensuring our customers receive high quality, reliable water service to their homes. There's a direct correlation between the rate people pay for water and the condition of the system that is treating and delivering that water. That was a statement made to TYT Investigates. So it's possible it's just that they need that money to invest in the system. But it seems noteworthy that Christie's task force that looked into crafting the policy that allowed them this sort of control included a former lobbyist and director of governmental affairs for New Jersey American Water. Hmm. That seems significant. And by the way, I always love in this sort of situation when you have this sort of incestuous relationship between government and business that it's the government affairs individual who's in charge of that. Um, and so that would lead you to think perhaps the $130 million that's gonna go to that firm isn't just for improvements to the water system. And it might have something to do with the cozy relationship Chris Christie and his allies have with that corporation and their lobbyists. So let me jump in for a second on that. Look guys, privatizing the water systems is outrageous. And I'll tell you why, because it's a monopoly. So you can't be like, hey, you know what? Today I'm not having Coke water, I'm gonna have Pepsi water in my faucet. You can only get one water going into your house. And so the minute that you privatize it, yeah, they can start to increase the rates on you. Yeah. And so if it's the public, if they're responsive to the and responsible to the public, well then we can say, wait, why are you wasting our taxpayer dollars on that? But if it's a private company, they're gonna look, what do they wanna do? They wanna maximize profits. They're like, well, now that we got your water and I'm pretty sure you need the water, yeah. I'm gonna increase the rates and I'm gonna do it once, twice, 18 times for however long you let me get away with it. So, and then when you add on top of that, not only are we privatizing it, but we're giving it to folks who are lobbyists and and work with the governor. And who created the policy that led to that rate increase request. Yeah, I mean- Now, I, the rate increase hasn't gone, gone through yet, by the way, but if it does, that's going to be a huge windfall for that company. And this is part of the problem with you know money and politics, which is lobbyists, uh, you know, influence the officials and the officials give them contracts. Yeah. And Chris Christie is patient zero of that in a lot of ways. Exactly. You know, he's known as like, oh, a tough prosecutor or whatever. No, he was mainly a donor before any of that. He was a political operative and then he got a job in the government yeah. as a lawyer and, and then went on to become governor. So this is Chris Christie 101. Yeah, and remember, Chris Christie's the guy who literally gave away bits of the World Trade Center rubble. The, to donors and stuff like that. Like this is not necessarily a guy that you can trust with resources of that sort. But the water, while that's obviously significant, you could say that that's just one thing. And it's the sort of thing we expect out of the government, perhaps. I think that we're allowing too much at that point. But now let's turn to Atlantic City. So Atlantic City over the past decade plus has had a lot of financial problems. Five casinos have shut down, thousands of jobs have been lost. And there's a concern that Atlantic City could go bankrupt. And so. Uh, the state has taken a special level of extra direct control over it and try to work out the financial situation. But look at who is actually benefiting from that relationship. So last year, New Jersey hired uh, Bill Palatucci, who's a campaign veteran for Chris Christie, has been involved with him for a number of years. They, they uh, brought on his law firm to work out a loan agreement with Atlantic City. That firm in just 2016 and 2017 billed New Jersey for over $400,000 for its services. Now, TYT Investigates reached out to Bill Palatucci and he responded by saying, I played no role in that work as it was not my client. Oh, come on. But it's your firm, 
So that seems significant. I have a feeling you probably knew that it was going on. You also have the accounting firm Ernst and Young secured a $485 an hour contract for continued analysis of Atlantic City's finances and cash flow. Christie's brother is a director of that firm. I know lawyers are expensive, but almost 500 bucks an hour seems like a lot of money. Those are accountants, not lawyers. Yeah, and that's really high for accountants, accountants. yes. But even so, I mean, these are the same guys that will say to you, $15 an hour, that is impractical and outrageous. Of course, you don't deserve $15 an hour. Oh, My brother's firm is gonna get $485 an hour. The, the, but that'll just run for a few years. The other ones, like the other ones, like, the other ones, I don't know whether they're outrageous. I mean, somebody works on the campaign and the campaign's over and they go into private practice. They're, yeah, they're friends. They're likely to, to get a deal. And they're, you know, that's, I, I'm, it is brazen to hire your brother's accounting firm. Yeah. Like, you know, right. That is. And, and I want to explain, like, if you don't know Ernst Young, they're a giant they're old huge, school yeah, yeah. firm. It's not like Todd Christie started the company, right? It's not a family run shop. But he does work there and he benefits from there. Yeah. So you'd probably want to avoid that conflict of interest. Instead, Chris Christie runs right into it. Well, Christie yeah. doesn't care. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like it's a closed beach. Like, yeah, no, that's what it is. I mean, it's the same <laughs> thing. It's like the beaches are closed. Good. There won't be anyone there. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, and whether he hey, look, directly there's a job. He's taken my picture. Don't care. <laughs> yeah. Whether he's directly financially benefiting is less important than the firm knows he has this relationship with the governor, and thus he can in his career benefit, obviously. Uh, then you also have the New Jersey Department of uh, Community Affairs named uh, a fellow named Jeff Chiesa to lead the Atlantic City takeover at a rate of $400 an hour. Uh, Christie's been friends with him since the late 1980s. They work together in private law practice in the New Jersey US Attorney's Office and in the State House as well. That firm has billed uh, the state over $3 million as of mid-September uh, for their work. Uh, in less than one year, that's a lot of money. Now, uh, re they reached out, uh, he says, we're going to do everything we can to protect the city's financial interests in a professional in a professional way. I understand and it's, a legit, it's legitimate for people to want to look at our fees. It's a significant discount on our fees, but it's also a fairly significant chunk of money that was given to you by a guy that you've been friends with since the 80s. Now, overall, what does Chris Christie think about this, this uh, pattern that uh, Naomi Lachance has found? Well. Um, asked by TYT investigates whether the governor has practices in place to guard against favoritism. Christie spokesman uh, Brian Murray said, your accusations of favoritism are as salacious as they are wildly inaccurate and wholly unsupported by any facts. And then he pulled off his glove and slapped her across the face. <laughs> okay, uh, unsupported by any facts except all the ones you've Those written ones. about in your uh, well researched article. Yeah, But outside of that, Salacious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the articles in the description box below. Uh, please yes. click on it. Get all the details. There's way yourself. more to it, by the way. This is just uh, the, the initial chunky uh, part on top of it. No pun. If you like the Young Turks, you'll love Young Turks membership. TYTnetwork.com/slash/join.